Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your March 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising signs. So Aries, for this reading, I'm using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Secret Language of Animals Oracle cards and then also the Romance Angel Oracle cards. I just want to wish you guys a happy birthday for all of you uh, March born Aries. All right. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Seven of Wands, and this is what I'm using as the overall energy, Aries, uh, for you guys for the month of March. So Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit, you know, someone who's very passionate and courageous, and they're not going to back down. They're not going, going to quit. They're not going to settle. So some of you could be very feisty, very fiery, very passionate here throughout the month of March. Also, maybe some of you are fighting for what it is that you want. Um, with the Seven of Wands, it doesn't necessarily mean you're fighting. It means that you would fight for what it is that you want because you're so passionate about that. So, um, you know, here right at the center, we have the Fool. We have the fool crossed by the devil, but the fool represents new beginnings. You walking out on a new path. Yes, it might require some sort of risk or leap of faith, but I think that with the seven of wands here, this is exactly what you want. This is what you're passionate about. You're ready to move forward and maybe honestly free yourself from something that's no longer serving you here with the devil. I think that previously, maybe some of you felt stuck, felt trapped. But now with the Seven of Wands energy, you will be successful when it comes to kind of getting out of this situation. This, the Seven of Wands, this character here, is always successful as long as he doesn't give up. And so with the devil, you know, some sort of toxic environment, um, relationship, Something that's no longer serving you could just simply be a situation you felt stuck within. But here, you know, with the fool, you could be taking a risk. You're, you're, you're moving forward. You're getting out of this energy. And this is you very passionate to move forward down a new path. So that's actually really good. At your foundation, I have the high priestess. Now, with the High Priestess at your foundation, some of you could have been planning on this, honestly, planning for this, um, keeping things to yourself. The High Priestess is obviously someone who's very intuitive, but she's secretive as well. So I think that some of you, this was you planning to move forward here, keeping something to yourself for other Aries, really listening to your intuition when it comes to this. Um, when it comes to freeing yourself, not feeling blocked any longer here. Um, with the tower in the recent past, very interesting. The tower could have been something that happened, some sort of shake up. Um, and it can be for better or for worse here. With the tower for me, it's a very neutral card. It can go in either direction. So for some of you, it's almost like maybe something happened that you wanted to happen. Something could have fell apart. Um, maybe it was a bad relationship here, um, but it was for the best. It can also be the universe stepping in and, and forcing something to happen, something that needed to happen. Um, so, I mean, it will be different for all of you here, but it, it could have been something drastic, something happening suddenly. Um, for a few of you, it could be a property. I'm getting a property for a few of you. Um, this could be a house move that you're making. Maybe some of you found a property here, um, but maybe you're just moving into the home uh, here in March. Uh, crowning you, I have the Two of Swords. So very interesting. Two of Swords crowning you, and I do apologize for this glare, um, but the Two of Swords crowning you is Maybe you trying to make a decision here because we have the fool here. Maybe some of you are trying to decide whether or not to take this risk or walk down this new path. You know, what's interesting is you have several twos here in the spread areas. You have the two of swords, the high priestess, you have the two of cups. Uh, and then you also, oh wow, you also have the two of wands and the lover's card. So, wow. So for many of you, um, 
a partnership, a relationship could be significant here. For those of you it's not romantic, it certainly could be family, it could be friendship, it could be business. It doesn't just have to be romantic. Um, but you're maybe thinking about this partnership with the Two of Swords. You know, maybe you have to make a decision or maybe you you are at a crossroads um, here. And, and, and I definitely could even be reading for a few Aries that maybe there is like a love triangle. There could be a situation involving three people. Um, you could be married. You could be with someone, but maybe you met someone new. It could have been a shock here. Um, maybe you kept it a secret. Or, you know, maybe you met someone and they're still attached. It could be a situation like that as well. Uh, coming up in the near future, around the second week, I have the Two of Cups. So, um, again, a partnership, a relationship significant here at this time. Two of Cups, though, around this time, if you did meet someone new um, or you are partnered, you could be growing closer with them at this time, you know, um, strengthening that bond, maybe spending more time with this person. The Two of Cups does represent reciprocated love, so, I mean, that's really, really good. But in the position of your power, I have the lover's card. So again, a decision, a choice is needed, especially if this is a love triangle. Needing to make an important decision here. Who do you want to be with, Aries? <laughs> um, for other Aries... For those of you, you're not in a three-party situation, but you are maybe coupled, you might have a, an important decision to make about your relationship. You know, maybe some of you are on the verge of committing uh, to this person, getting into a more serious relationship. Uh, could be moving in together. Uh, but with the Two of Cups and the Lover's card, you know, this is this is emotional energy and it's also passionate energy for me as well. And then, you know, the Devil can even be a very tempting, lusty energy. So for, for those of you that are coupled and you're in a good place and there's no love triangle or anything like that, it actually could be an amazing month for you guys. And then in the position of how those around you are viewing you, I do have the Two of Wands. And this can be, you know, those closest to you. So if you are partnered, this can definitely be your significant other. Definitely in my eyes with, with this card in this position, there's a physical connection here. There's definitely uh, a physical attraction. So I think that this person is definitely into you physically and emotionally. Um, the Two of Wands is also someone who's planning for the future someone who has a future so if, if in this position again coupled you know you are being viewed in a really good light if someone maybe sees potential in you sees a future with you um you know maybe you are planning for the future as well and then in the hopes and fears i have the eight of pentacles so this can be a new job for those of you that it's not um, relationship related, hoping for a new job, uh, working on something, uh, investing a lot of time and energy in something, working very hard and hoping maybe that, to be rewarded for that, for that hard work, for those efforts. Uh, for those of you that don't work for a living, you know, focusing on someone or something, devoting a lot of time to that and hoping that, you know, things work out for the best. Um, and I definitely feel like for some of you, you know, it's in regards to a relationship here. There's definitely a relationship that's very significant for, for many of you watching this. Um, and I think that you're really investing in this person here, investing in this person could be, if it's a business partnership, it could be that you're working very hard, um, to you know make this partnership successful um so keep it up and then in the you know final outcome position energy that you're going into april with we actually have the wheel of fortune so eight for me is a karmic number so you know the harder you work you know the more you are actually blessed and rewarded so you know with this karmic energy aries whatever it is that you're working on just stay focused, keep working hard because you have blessings that are coming in for you. This can be good luck that's coming in at this time. 
you know, this is, this is great. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, blessings, um, you know, things happening at this moment that are very much meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. It's destiny, it's karma, it's higher forces at play. Um, so events uh, taking place in your life, Aries, that are very much meant to happen. So if something did happen prior, and even if it wasn't the the most positive, you know it had you know it happened for a reason. Um, it was in your best interest. Like I mentioned, with the with the tower, can be the universe stepping in. So you know something could have happened for some of you. And it was meant to happen because you were being, you know, led to this great blessing or this new relationship for some of you. Um, but let's do some clarifying. We will take a look at, you know what, I, I actually want to take a look at the devil. We will take a look at the devil for Aries. Let's clarify the devil. Looking at the devil for Aries. Clarifying the devil for Aries. Interesting. Okay, so... Looking at the devil, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Rods, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So Earth Energy. For some of you, maybe you're in a relationship with a Capricorn. If not a Capricorn Earth Sign person, now Four of Rods, if this is a new relationship, this speaks about potential. You know, maybe... If it's a woman or if it's a man with the Knight of Pentacles here, um, you know, they might be very successful. Very, very successful. Um, four of Rods for me speaks about longevity, stability. Uh, when it comes to relationships and marriage, more traditional relationships. So, you know, for those of you that are getting into a relationship or committing, I mean, this is this is wonderful. Even if the whole process, if you've met someone and maybe, you know, maybe they don't jump into relationships too quickly, earth energies tend to, you know, take their time. Um, they want to make sure that something is right um, before they kind of commit to it. So, you know, even if you're dealing with someone who is a little slow moving, still, you know, this person most likely is worth waiting for. But this could be your energy as well. Maybe you're taking your time before you commit uh, or move in with that person. That could be a possibility here for some of you. Um, and maybe this person's a Capricorn. There definitely could be a Capricorn person that's significant. Um, for other for other Aries, you know, the Knight of Pentacles energy is a slower moving energy. So again, with this energy, maybe feeling stuck, feeling trapped. But maybe taking some sort of risk or making a, a, a very important decision here in March could be something that helps you get out of this energy. Sometimes when you take a risk, um, a calculated risk, not a careless risk, but sometimes when you take a, a, a risk that's, you know, like a smart risk, um, you are rewarded for that, for that. Uh, for that chance that you're taking and we have this wheel of fortune coming in for you later on so uh, as you can see Aries you know no matter how you resonate with this reading it's going to be a good month for you guys you have some great energies to work with um, let me pull you an additional guidance card Aries what else does Aries need to know for the month of March All right, wow, these two cards just hit the camera. <laughs> so these definitely wanted to come out. And then I'm also just going to pull you a Romance Angel Oracle card. Aries, focusing on love and relationship matters for the month of March. But over on Vimeo Aries, I do have the Love Tarot forecast for the month of March uh, up and posted. So uh, the link is below if that's something that you're interested in. 
Aries March. What do they need to know? Okay. All right. So the additional guidance cards that I have for you, Aries, we actually have Dolphin, Joy, Light, Flow, and Compassion. And so beautiful. Um, I mean, I think that this resonates very well with what the tarot was saying. Um, so this energy is nice. You have this energy with you. Joy, maybe just feeling a lot lighter here. Going with the flow, you know, for some of you, you might have had the universe step in. You're dealing with higher powers here, absolutely, um, here, and going with the flow, surrendering. Sometimes, you know, we have to surrender to the universe, especially if we're stuck or the energy is stagnant, nothing is happening, you need to surrender. You have to allow for things to happen maybe in a different way than you had hoped, but you know, you're still going to reach that destination. So some of you, you're in that flow right now. Go with the flow, enjoy the ride, definitely. And then we also have crayfish, protection, perseverance, vulnerability, and regeneration. So, um, you know, with this card, I feel like you guys, we have compassion and we have uh, protection here. So because we have all of these twos here, um, you know, some of you definitely could be protecting another person, a relationship, definitely. Um, for those of you that, you know, this isn't a new relationship, you know, you could actually be re-sparking that passion within your existing relationship, spicing it up, um, you know, bringing new life to it, definitely, and, and, and not wanting to let it fail with this, with this message here. You're not going to let it fail. Um, yeah, so... Looking at your love life, we do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So, communication is key here. <laughs> uh, definitely speak to your partner. Tell them how you feel. Tell them what you need. Discuss your feelings. For those of you that it is a new relationship, needing to put yourself out there, needing to tell this person how you feel and needing to be vulnerable. Okay, Aries, so uh, definitely enjoy the month. I think it's going to be a wonderful month for you guys. Um, so um, if you're not subscribed to me, to me here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttarot.com. I hope you have a wonderful month. Take care.